time for a new video and it's gonna be a short one again it's something that I'm pretty sure every one of you also suffers from from time to time maybe even at this very moment and that I also have to be very mindful of I was talking to a client yesterday and she was super stuck in 3d like she was like how on earth did I get here and I know this feeling very well and I always I, I get there when I have not been spending time enough in my inner world I get there and she got there by skipping meditations and by all of a sudden being so stuck in 3d that you forget like hey wait a minute this is the world upside down you create from within that's the right order you create from within and from within you see the without so whatever you see around you now it's not a fact that just is laid uh, upon you I'm not really sure if that's correct English but you know what I mean it's not forced upon you it is created by you and it's created from how you have been feeling what you have been thinking what you have been saying to yourself so whenever you feel you're too stuck in 3d and you're like mm, i'm just like i don't know how i got here and you feel a victim to everything that's happening in your life and around you then you know that you've not been spending enough time inside of you and it is seriously as easy as every single day you start your day off with meditation at least 30 minutes for you you wake up you actually i wouldn't do anything except for going to the bathroom so no drinks maybe you want to brush your teeth i also would say skip that for afterwards like go to the bathroom sit on your meditation pillow like really sit don't do it in your bed sit down on your meditation pillow close your eyes and either do a guided meditation or do something within yourself then after the 30 minutes start to write affirmations and start to feel yourself in the happiest joy most joyful version of you that's how you start your day every single day and when you do that you start to see that everything around you becomes easier and more malleable and you feel more in control if it's not the case if it is that you're like yeah well i do this every day but still i don't feel like i'm that much in control then i bet you spent too you spend too much time on social media whatsapp instagram facebook these are all really nice platforms but i would say reduce the use of them to a minimum every single day maybe just check whatsapp twice a day like in the morning and in the evening same with facebook same with instagram i would even say take a detox like uh, maybe quit them completely for a couple of days if you can maybe even a couple of weeks if you're like nah that's a bit too hardcore then um, say to yourself i only check whatsapp and instagram and facebook twice a day emails the same and see how much more in control of your life you feel because before you know it on social media before you know it you're scroll scrolling through all these things and you're like at one point how did i even get here and it's taking away from the focus that you need to have for creating your life consciously yeah so that's that's the preach for that and then i want to read you something that was posted in uh, one of my favorite facebook groups seth uh, seth facebook group and so that you know i only just check facebook once a day um yeah not that it's important or maybe it is important okay so this is a quote from seth i am not telling you to inhibit thoughts or feelings I'm asking you, I'm asking that you become aware of those you have. 
realize that they form your reality. Concentrate upon those that give you the results that you want. If you find all of this difficult, you can also examine your physical reality in all of its aspects. Realize that your physical experience and environment is the materialization of your beliefs. If you find great exuberance, health, effective work, abundance, smiles on all the faces, smiles on the faces of those you meet, then take it for granted that your beliefs are beneficial. If you see a world that is good, people that like you, take it for granted again that your beliefs are beneficial. But if you find poor health, a lack of meaningful work, a lack of abundance, a world of sorrow and evil, then assume that your beliefs are faulty and begin examining them. And this comes from The Nature of Personal Reality, Session 616, September 20th, 1972. Yeah. So, that's it for today. To recap, Okay, <laughs> I wanted to do that a bit more a gentle. Uh, to recap, when you're too stuck, when you feel that you're stuck in 3D, you need to spend more time within. So do not skip your meditations. It is really not worth it. It's not worth it. You deserve it all. And to be able to have it all and create it all, you need to go within because that's how your outside world is created. And then the last thing that I want to say, I think I maybe already said it in a couple of videos before. Every night when you, before you go to sleep, think about what went well. What went well that day? And when, where did you fall from grace? As Dr. Joe Dispenza says it, like he says, where, when and where did I fall from grace? And how would I do it differently tomorrow? So then you rehearse also who you want to be when you go to sleep. So I trust that this video was helpful and I wish you a wonderful day.